Bowl. channels hangs to come back for another video today we're here at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane for the second preliminary final between the Brisbane Broncos and the New Zealand Warriors here at Suncorp Stadium it's gonna be a big game uh, obviously my boys Bruce has got knocked out last Friday night yeah it was painful and still trying to get over it but you know the show rolls on with the content grind I thought we'd come here to Suncorp Stadium for this massive prelim it's gonna be a big clash obviously we'll be there next week for the uh, grand final as well so it's going to be a massive two vlogs to finish out the season. But it's going to be a big one here. So I'm called sold out, 53,000 in the house here. Broncos up against the Warriors. Now the Broncos, they are coming into this game after beating Melbourne Storm 26-0 in their qualifying final. They had the week off for the Warriors. After a big loss to the Panthers in week one of the finals, they bounced back at home in New Zealand to win 40-10 over the Newcastle Knights. Bring some confidence into this game as Sean Johnson returned for the Wars last week and they got the job done in big fashion there in New Zealand but it's big test tonight to come up against the Broncos who are basically you know the second best team in the comp right now you know they've been up there all season competing with Penrith so it's going to be tough for the Wilds to get it done the Broncos they're in some good form and at home in front of a packed house here at Suncorp hasn't haven't had a prelim here at Suncorp for the Broncos since 2015 and don't remind me because we all know what happened to that game I'll get the clip up, but yeah. But yeah, so yeah, 2015 was the last time the Broncos played a prelim at Suncorp, so it's a big deal for the Broncos. And as well for the Warriors, their first prelim final since 2011. We all know what happened there. They did beat the Melbourne Storm in an upset. I reckon they can do it again tonight. I'm going jumping on the bar wild bandwagon. You know, I've been hesitant to do it all season because my roosters have been in there the whole until last week. So I'm on the wilds, finally on the wilds bandwagon. I hope they get the job done tonight. Let's send the Broncos back and right. There's no one likes the Broncos, especially for New South Wales from Leaf in Queensland anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you're new in here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Hangs on the Score YT. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support as well for 2023 as well. To our regular viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. It means a lot. And I'll see you guys next week as well for the uh, 2023 NRL Grand Final. Hopefully, more goes well. The Roosters NRL W side get through and the North City Bears win the New South Wales Cup Grand Final tomorrow, which means I can watch my res reserve grade team and my NRL W team on the Grand Final day. But it's going to be a big one. But for now, let's soak up this atmosphere here at Suncorp Stadium. There's a lot of Wars fans here tonight too. We're jumping on the Wars bandwagon. Hope it's going to be a good one. But without further ado, let's get inside and soak up this open atmosphere here. And second prelim final here. Broncos and the Wars. Up the Wars. Come on. Johnson up against 
Reynolds, Nicholas Bosta, Walsh gets his former team. I hope you guys move the living shit out of him. But yeah, but, but make sure you guys follow and subscribe to Warriors General Fanatics. Great content for the Warriors fans there. All right, thanks for the time, bro. I got up the line. Johnson.
numbers, numbers on oh, another one. on here at Suncorp Stadium and it is the Broncos 24 leading the Warriors 12. Very entertaining game I must say. It's been a great first half. Uh, I think it was seven tries in that first 40 minutes which is insane for a final, especially a prelim final. Um, Broncos look too good right now. It's just their offload to killing the Warriors. The Warriors, if they converted all their goals, it would have been 24-18. So, but, you know, it's still a contest. You know, the Wilds are still in this so if they can Limit the offloads and put some points on the board in the second half. It might go down to the wire. I'm the fucking broke. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. But yeah, uh, very, very interesting first half. Uh, I think, I think the Broncos should run away with it. But the Warriors are still in this game, so we'll see what happens. All right, big second half ahead. Let's go. Let's go see what the Wilds fans. Hey, let's see what their atmosphere is like in that Collins line. Right, who's where all the Wilds fans are? We'll see soon. Five minutes into the second half. Twenty-four twelve. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I had to pass it. But most of it does it on the wires, and it's about like three. <laughs> Some of the teams, unless they come up with winning the playoff now. Of course, they get a six again when the game's gone. two grand finals for 2023. The Penrith Panthers up against the Brisbane Broncos. The Broncos winning tonight, 42 points to 12. That was just on another level tonight, the Broncos. Uh, congratulations to the Broncos. Unlucky to the Warriors fans. Um, I know it would hurt to lose that way, but be proud of your season. Be proud of your season. You did well. No one expected you to make to the prelim, but you got there. Well done. But, um, you know, the Broncos are too good. I don't want to say too much about that forward pass, but I know they weren't robbed, but that changed the game completely. It was 24-12 at the time, and they just went on the after that. But, you know, it didn't change the result, but that was still a harsh call there on the wires. But at the end of the day, good win for the Broncos. They're into their first grand final since 2015. They're up against the Panthers on Sunday. I will be there, guys, at the Core Stadium for the grand final. It's going to be a good day. Can't wait for it. Nice. But, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, guys. If you're new around here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Hangzone School YT. And to our regulars, thank you so much for your support, guys. I, I, could be, I couldn't be going to these games without you guys, so I really thank you for your support. All right. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next Sunday, Grand Final Day at Core Stadium. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.